I've, quite a few of you have seen um, this Tim Holtz die. It's for the um, library. It's like a library card thingamabob. And all I've done is back it with some coffee dyed paper just to give it a little bit of, um, I'll have to give it, you know, a backing. <laughs> and then I cut out some tickets as well from the kit. I backed those as well. Those don't really need a lot of. On there. They look so pretty. And it gives them a little bit of heft to it or a little bit of. Um, these are just not coming out well today. Not heft, but. But, you know, they're not as flimsy. They're a little bit more um, stiff, if you will. So you can just take these. I'm going to put one right there. And I'll wiggle it in there and turn it kind of side, not sideways, but you know, angle it. And I want one. Kind of this way. I like that. And then this last one. They're kind of like that. And this here is just some thread. Um, it's the same thread that I've used to sew everything in the um, in the journal that I just fussy cut out one of the butterflies and just kind of put it in that way. So there's another piece of ephemera that can go into our journal. But this one piece of ephemera actually makes two. Now, this out, you get a frame because this was from in there. So I, what I did was I took that frame and I cut, I think that's about an eighth of an inch around. Yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch all the way around. Okay, and then I glued that to some, cell to some um, packaging. All right, so I glued it on. All right, so after I did that, it came like this. Okay. So it's on there with Fabri-Tac. So it's on there really good. And I'm just going to give it a quick. Runging it up a little bit. Okay. Now, before I glued, well, actually I took another piece of um, coffee dyed paper and I took that that frame frame and I laid it down here and I traced around it so that I have this so that's going to give me the inside I know how much room I have on the inside here going to play a little bit. This is a um, skeleton leaf. 
that I pulled out of my stash. These are some dried flowers I'm going to need. Probably tweezers and maybe a jewel grabber. So the first thing I'm probably going to want to do is very carefully, these are dried flowers, so they're very fragile. This also is very fragile. So the first thing I want to do is determine which side, right? This is the flat side. This is the side with the uh, it. This is kind of a one and done kind of thing. You have to be really careful because once you get it down, I don't want to be moving it around a lot. See what I'm doing. So afraid of always getting my head in here. That'll help a little bit. Can you see the square that I, the inside of the square? All right. I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac. I'm just going to go along that vein. Just a little bit on the edges, just, just, just a little bit. On this side, just a little bit. Now, take this to center it. I also want it to be a little bit towards the top. I do believe, by Jove, I've got it. A little bit crooked, so I'm just going to very lightly and very delicately try and turn that a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Now, before I came on camera, I did very lightly, very, very lightly, as you can see, take a, um, a little bit of my um, vintage photo just to give it a little bit of definition along the outside. Now, let's see. Some of this stuff is in here so good. Now, if you look up dried flowers on Amazon, you'll be able to find them. I'm looking for... I can't quite tell. be a little bit too big. No, no. Maybe if I cut that down a little bit actually. Because it's a little bunched up at the bottom here, isn't it? So I'm going to lay this out and see how I want this. Kind of like that.
press in there like that. There's one more little piece of it. Ever so teeny tiny. Or if I can cut some of that off and rearrange it. Pull this off because I'm going to do some surgery on it. Before I do any surgery, let's get this down. Now, these are real. So oh, let's get um what am I looking for? Keep my hands a little damp. Because they're just a little bit sticky from the um the other stuff. They've also got um, a vintage photo on them. Now I'm going to pick this up. I'm just going to very carefully, and I'm just going to go down the center. All the way up to the tippy top. I'm just going to use my the center of this as my guide. Might pull that down just a, just a wee bit. Do some surgery here. do how do I want to do this okay to stop and think <laughs> stop and think the concept that right there these kind of behind her why not pick those up with the scissors <laughs> pick those up with the let's pick her up with the tweezers Down here, a little dabble, do ya? And these babies down. Spread them out a little bit. That I did surgery on. I 
are going to go right about there. They done nice. A little dot right there. As you know, it's all about the dot, right? Right there. Right here. A little bit down towards the end. There. Now, I see some of these are coming up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of turn this sideways a little bit. I know you're not going to be able to see me, and I apologize. But a little bit, just a dab. That's all you really need. And of course, to get my fingers up off of them, I'm going to use my trusty <laughs> scissors. See that there's some more in here. Get them out without them breaking. Oh, I did, and I can. my nozzle here. Boy, that looks pretty. I know you can't quite see it yet. Trust me, it's gorge. Just. I'm sure there's probably a better way to glue these down. They're just so pretty. And you know, I've never taken a class on how to do that, so I couldn't tell you how to do it. I just do it. It's still not laying quite flat for me. There we go. I take this. I have to 
turn her over like this. She could go right here. That. Done. This is um, from the kit. It says, happy in a million little ways. Put that out, and it has been... Also, all inked that right in the middle. Boy, that looks pretty. Yep. All right, now the next thing I need to do. If I can find it, where did I put it? Find the thing that goes on top. I know you all see it, right? You're probably saying, it's right there. Open your eyes. But I'm not seeing it yet. But you know, before I do that, first thing I want to do is I want to pull all these flowers out. Because, boy, these are really in here, aren't they? All right, we'll do that later. I just want to try and get them all onto this piece of, um, right piece of, whatchamacallit. Here it is, here it is, here it is. This is going to get glued right on top of that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, first off is I am going to erase this line. because it won't be perfect going on here, but I want this to be, this line was more for centering um, the skeleton leaf. And anything else. So now, oh, just a little bit right there. So to be honest with you, the uh, skeleton leaf is pretty much dry. I make sure I'm going with a good clean nozzle. So I'm going to clean that off with my, you know, fingers. <laughs> so. This down here. I'm going to bring my glue.
Okay, now, for some reason, I don't know why, but sideways always seems to be the best bet. And center that. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Yep, you bet. We're going to cut it out. Isn't that gorgeous? And it'll be even prettier once I get to cut it out. And we'll be back in just a moment. So I totally forgot to turn on the camera when I was cutting this out. Sorry. But at least it's the last part. That gorgeous. You can also find these on Amazon, the um, skeleton leaves. Um, I'll link everything in the description below. <laughs> I have glue all over my over my mat. All right, so I forgot something. You, these little guys are going to be everywhere. So, in trying to tie everything together, let's use this end. You're going to find throughout this entire journal is the, are these little bobbers. I think they're just adorable. that right up there in the corner because it just looks cute there. <laughs> 